Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Travel with Tonya. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my 10 top food spots to visit on the south coast of Jamaica. Now you're going to want to stick around for this video. So I love the south coast because it's laid back, it's not touristy, and it's just a great vibe. It consists of the parishes of St. Elizabeth, Clarendon, and Manchester. I personally love St. Elizabeth. I did an entire series on St. Elizabeth. You're going to want to check out those videos about St. Elizabeth. So let's get into it. Number one on my list is Jack Spratt. And Jack Spratt is located in Calabash Bay in Treasure Beach. And I love this place because it's by the beach. <laughs> and have some great seafood. Now, the beach is a public access beach. You're able to access the beach. Um, you're not allowed to carry food in there because the restaurant Jack Spratt is there. And what they're known for is their pizza. I heard that that is their best item, their pizza. And Jack Spratt is just a great venue for chilling with your family and your friends. When you go there, sometimes there's a large group there. There's a nice green area for your children to play and run up and down. So it's a nice chill and relaxed vibe. Food price is reasonably priced. Um, it can get a little bit crowded. So, you know, you have to just make sure you get there early. Next on my list is Scott's Cove, aka Borda. Now, it is called Borda because it's on the border of West Milan and St. Elizabeth. But the official name is Scott's Cove. Scott's Cove is known for the fish and the bami. They have the best bami in Jamaica. Their bami is really nice and soft. I love it. Every time I go there, I have to get their bami because it's so nice. And they do fried fish, steamed fish. You have a guy there named Cooley Man. So the stop at Barda, the stop at Barda. Me and Cooley Man, best friends fry lobster around town. That's it. He does really nice lobster like french fried lobster and it's delicious it sells good it's reasonably priced they also have shrimp they have soup they have conch they have a whole variety of seafood and when visiting border you must check out marie thank you marie she has been so faithful to me and Cooliman for the nice french fried lobster now we're heading to little ochi in alligator pond in manchester and the owner blackie says that little ochi does 75 different seafood dishes right so they have lobster shrimp conch octopus they're known for their jerk snapper i heard that that jerk, jerk snapper is good i never tried it i end up going there trying a regular fried fish with jerk corn which was actually good their festival they have to kind of work on it it's not the hellsha style festival but it can eat but i enjoyed the environment there they're right by the beach so you get to sit down there taking the breeze sometimes the sea can be a little bit rough but it's a nice seafood place to just go and relax you go there you choose the fish they weigh the fish you pay for it and you're seated outside and they bring your food to you i like it there it's a nice vibe and the food is reasonably priced they also do soup. And they actually have a seafood festival that happens every July. Now I'm going to share with you the place that has the best cow skin soup in Jamaica. And that is by Stephen Run in Nain in St. Elizabeth. Now everybody who comes from that area knows about this place. They definitely sell the best cousin in soup. The soup is thick and nice and it's just flavorful. And usually when you go there, you have to get there early because sometimes the food runs out and you can't get no soup. But everybody who pass there right by the train line know that that is the best soup and it is so good. People, if you're ever in that area, you need to check out that shop for the best cousin soup. Now we're not done with St. Elizabeth yet. There is Jerk Center Cook Shop in Exton in St. Elizabeth. Now they sell jerk chicken, jerk pork. It's like a little jerk center where you just grab and go for your food. I did not really like their pork, but their, their chicken is really good, juicy and tender. And I just really, really liked it. They do size like bread, festival, and they also have soup. And this jerk center has their secret sauce. I don't know what they put in the sauce, but the sauces that they have, is really really good they have really hot sauce and really flavorful sauce so that is a jerk center spot that you can check out still on the saint elizabeth side and we are going to junction to cooligal 
Listen, when they told me that her shop was named Coolie Girl, I was like, what? But it's that shop that every taxi man stop at, right? If you know anything about Jamaica, anywhere the taxi man stop for food, you know it must be good. So <laughs> Coolie Girl is the name of the shop and she sells good Jamaican, authentic Jamaican food from fried chicken, curry chicken. Um, she has the rice and peas, just nice, flavorful food. She's known for her breakfast and her lunch and her food is usually finished real quick. If you don't reach there early, you're not going to get any food. <laughs> so, you know, it's usually a grab and go. Most people, you know, just buy the food and go or you can sit outside and each has an area where you can sit outside and each has a little space where you can wash your hands. Um, and again, reasonably priced and tastes so good. I had the fried chicken with curry gravy on the side with rice and peas and it was very tasty. Definitely would recommend her in Junction. Now we are heading to Clarendon for the best curry goat and that is Morris Fish and Jerk Hot. Now Morris actually has two locations, one in Clarendon and one in Mandeville. I usually go to the one in Clarendon, like literally I drive from Kingston to Clarendon just for that lovely curry goat and their food is delicious. They actually also do other meats like chicken. They actually do rabbit. They have jerk rabbit and curry ra rabbit. I've never tried that before. <laughs> I know people who did. Um, I don't know if I want to do that, but they do have rabbit. They have festival there. They have a nice little area that has um, a bar and it's a great location for, for a family outing to dine out. Really nice. There's actually um, a Devon House ice cream shop there. You can pre-order your food, pick it up and go. But it's nice. The ambiance is nice. They have a lots of space for you to go sit down and eat your food. Now, next on my list is Melrose Yam Park. This location has been around for a long time and it is in Manchester. It's a great breakfast food stop. Um, I always go there for breakfast if I'm heading around that side based on the name Yam Park. They're known for their yam and they usually have roasted yam with cook up saltfish or ache and saltfish. And I just love it. And the food is a whole heap. I mean, listen, when they have that roast yam heated and nice and they slap on that butter on it, it's so delicious and tasty. I just love it. It's a great location for a breakfast stop. Another breakfast stop is Juicy Patty, located in Clarendon Park. Now, Juicy Patty is not just known for their patties, but they do good breakfast and it's a great spot for a breakfast spot. Anytime I'm driving down that location and I feel for something nice and quick, I always stop Juicy Patty. And one of their go-to meals that i love to have there for breakfast is the harmony corn porridge just listen their harmony corn porridge tastes so good and they do other types of breakfast like cook up saltfish salt mackerel they have the ground provisions the yam and the banana it's really nice and i love that and it's reasonably priced and that's what i love and they have a drive through so you don't have to come out of your vehicle you can just do the drive through and just go about your business i had to add Juicy patties to the list of places to stop. There is also Lover's Leap located in St. Elizabeth. Now, Lover's Leap is known for the beautiful views that you have there. I've been there like three times. I love it there. It's relaxing, just taking in the cool sea breeze and the views. And the food is also good as well. They do different types of food from seafood, pastas, you name it, they have it. It's a good space to go and just have a nice romantic dinner or a romantic lunch. And it's really, really nice. And there you have it, guys. My 10 top favorite food spots to visit on the south coast of jamaica now if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and thank you so much for watching and continue to follow me for more jamaican inspired content